Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, and today's Echo in the Aether. I've started up uh, rendering yesterday's uh, vlog up. It, I do a two-pass uh, filter on my, my editor, Caden Live. And I just wanted to, to get y'all's uh, thoughts and comments. The editing and the rendering improved in the last couple of weeks since I've been using this process. Uh, comment down below. Let me know. Uh, that way I can adjust as needed to make it a better vlog. Throughout the day I, I do take about four minutes of video. I try and get about ten and cut it down in half. Uh, I do try and cut out long pauses as well as so's, ums, as you saw. I'm going to try and start asking a, a question a day uh, just to get viewer feedback, not only for feedback, but just for your thoughts and opinions. Sometimes uh, that's one thing that's always gotten me with social media is it, it's about sharing ideas, sharing of ourselves as well as promoting other people when we, you know, that's where we try and get popular is we promote other people to promote ourselves. I hope that in promoting the others that we've got good enough content to better serve other people. I use it to help promote other people. Granted, I don't promote as much as I would like. I'm still evolving my techniques. I'm, I'm still listening. I'm still involving, evolving what I listen and how I listen, as well as how I write, what I write, who I write about, what I write for. Interesting for, for someone else. That's kind of my thoughts. Let me know yours, and uh, we'll be updating throughout the day. Hopefully, I, I'll start on the uh, the laptop project today and be showing you bits and pieces of that as we go along. Is I've booted up the old laptop now uh, with the power supply that came in yesterday. I'm testing it, updating the system, checking if I need to, to redo anything. See, right now we're updating uh, Fedora Core. And then from there, I'm actually going to transfer top. So while I'm doing that, I'm watching... Uh, Firefly, I've been wanting to watch it for, again, for about a week, so I wanted to go ahead and get things done, and uh, I figure while I'm updating and changing stuff, why not watch some Firefly? So, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. When I uh, got the other laptop top, I'll show it to you when I'm, I'm done. Unfortunately, I don't have a tripod or else I'd get video of me doing it as well. I'm getting ready to shoot a video um, deconstructing the top of a laptop to put it on another one, and... I was hoping that I could make a makeshift uh, tripod and it would work. And evidently it won't because the angle I need the camera at just, it's not going to do it. So I'm about to start throwing apart this laptop to uh, the top of this laptop to put another one on it. And I'm going to do a video for it that's going to be its own individual uh, work. Have you ever wanted to just like pick up the phone and yell at the person, The movie's ruined! It's all ruined! It's your fault! Yeah, sometimes I feel like yelling at the telemarketer is the same thing. So, I just got done recording a inform informational uh, breakdown video for how to take the back plate off my uh, old laptop. Unfortunately, when you have to do it with one hand, and my uh, MacGyver tripod wouldn't hold my camera at the proper angle I'd need it to, as well as it wouldn't focus the way I needed it to, but you also realize how badly your camera sucks when trying to do uh, macros and stuff like that, and you can't because it, it's it's a crazy camera. It's small. Um, it's not like a flip cam or, or an actual uh, photo camera with you know eight to ten pixels. It's it's small. It makes me almost think I might steal my mom's camera full time and and do a few videos. But as for now, I'm gonna go finish doing install updates on it and uh, edit I gotta find the videos and then edit uh, the piece together so I'll talk it all y'all later right now I'm uh, on my way to green drinks for the first time and I'm not sure exactly what it's about so we're gonna have a great time I might be able to vlog some of what's going on and uh, let's see if we can at least make uh, some new contacts tonight well, I got down here, and I didn't really find where exactly in the place they were meeting at first. And Laurie, I think I pronounced his name right, um, 
he uh, came over from, to me. He was from the Green Drinks and introduced himself. And it was really cool to talk to him and meet with him for a few minutes. And we kind of discussed rather quickly where the goal of it was going um, and where the meeting place was kind of moving to, what night it was going to be on. It was a real quick introduction, real quick meeting, and it was nice. Um, granted, it wasn't the end-all, be-all, like, everything's going on here meeting, but uh, it, it was a nice information piece that I got from him to know what was going on and to introduce myself. It was it was a good place to introduce myself, and so he's thinking the first Mondays of the month, and I, the first Wednesday of the month is green drinks. So that that's really cool for me. It works for me. As for Social Media Club Jax, I know right now it's meeting once a month, and I want to look at that and see if that commute to Jacksonville once a month is going to be feasible and economical. Let's put it that way. Um... I'm hoping to get there later this month on the 30th. Ooh, my dad's going to be in town. I should be going there on the 30th to see what they're, they're, they're about. Those are kind of my thoughts and goals right now, is to really get integrated into my local. And by local, I'm, I'm talking within up to Jacksonville from St. Augustine, uh, into my local social media groups. And the reason I want to get ingrained, not necessarily ingrained, but into those is... So I can grow my business locally. And what is my business? My business is computers and internet consulting. I, I'm mobile repair pretty much. Uh, people call me to remove viruses and spyware and stuff. The stuff you'll pay $90 to Best Buy for, depending on internet connection and all that, I can have it done in an hour. And you're paying 25 to 35 versus 90 so that's actually where my clients come from, is they're coming to me by word of mouth at the moment. And it's more because I haven't marketed my business versus, you know, in the social media realm versus the physical realm. Either way, I have not promoted, I have not advertised my business, and it's grown word of mouth. And I've only had about six clients, but my clients come to me regularly. I'll show them what to do. I'll tell them how to do it. And in the at the end of the day, someone else gets on their computer and they'll call me to remove the virus and spyware. It works. I make money. I enjoy it. But I do show them. And I give them a lot of extra value for their money. They ask me about a printer. I'll research the printer on my own time or even while I'm waiting on their stuff to finish up. Give them my thoughts and opinions as well as the information I've gathered in a more digestible format for them and it helps them decide hey I want this printer or I want that printer as or you know I, I give my clients as much information as they want for me they'll call me up and I'll give them troubleshooting phone support before I say let's make a, a, an in-house call because I'm trying to save them money now one of the things I have thought about doing was going to uh one of the, hey, you can fix the computer over the internet kind of things, like GoToExpress and uh, VNC is another one that can be done like that. But these are are things that I've thought about to lower my, my overhead, my cost. And with that, it, it becomes another expense, but it also can become something that adds more value to my business by me not having to be there. Especially once my clients trust me. And that's what I do build towards. I build towards trust with my clients. I would rather have 30 loyal clients that are trusting me. That I don't have to be there to support their computer. And I'm getting called once every couple of months. Versus 50 new customers a month that I can't give a personal service to. Now yes, I would like the money that the 50 customers a month would bring in. But what's the point? What's the point of having 50 customers a month if I can't support them? I would rather slowly build my business, be able to support my clients, build a relationship with my clients. I'm getting into the social media aspect in my local community so that I can grow my business, so that I can know those around me and help those around me build value with their business as well as add value to mine. That is what I'm working on. That is what I'm doing.
and I hope you all have had a great day.